any alterations to any pictures and any pictures in the video do not belong to me and are to prevent copyright. Hello everybody, G the Blessing, welcome back to a brand new video. And today I will be discussing a theory that is part of many, that is actually like a combination of many theories I've seen before. And I've kind of thrown in some of my own personal research evidence, but this obviously isn't every single last bit of evidence to this theory of Kabutops, or no, Kabuto's, not, um, Kabuto's many evolutions forms, evolutions forms, okay. Anyways, we all know that Kabuto, the fossil, po uh, dome fossil Pokemon, evolves into Kabut Kabutops in the games and in the show, but there are many theories that speculate other things about Kabutops, and mostly based off of on actual real world evolution. So, so let's kind of dive into it here. Let's start off with the um, Genesect. Now, Team Plaza made a Genesect from Kabutops. That's pretty much like a well-known theory. It's not confirmed canon by Pokemon, but it's such a well-known and uh, theory and has so much evidence to it that a lot of people just consider it true. And obviously I'm not going to be presenting every bit of evidence, but if you want to do more research into any of these theories, uh, mini theories of the big theory yourself, obviously you can. Anyways, um, there are several similar body features when it comes to Kabutops and Genesect, including the feet both have claws, and there are some things that he, um, aren't illustrated in the pictures, but um, that I've ha that I have here, because I'm terrible at thinking on spot when editing pictures. Anyways, um, you know, several they both have feet claws, except you know, Genesect obviously has one claw thing, and then. Kabutops has two, but still, it's, it's still thi a thing, you know? Um, it's still a trait that, you know, could have been changed by Team Plasma, could have been affected. And also, they have the hand claws, and then there's also similar, like, flat eyes, and the leg types are similar, the way the leg shapes are, and the fact that they're both bipedal. That's actually pretty good evidence right there. But, um, also, in the Pokedex entries, it says that Genesect was created from a Pokemon that lived 300 million years ago. Well, that's, and also in Pokedex entries, that says that that's the same time, 300 million years ago, that Kabutops, or Kabuto, started walking on land. And when they started up walking on land, they started evolving into Kabut Kabutops. So, pretty good evidence right there. I mean, Kabuto, Kabuto's start inhabiting beaches. They evolve into Kabutops. You know, Extinction, Fossils, Team Plasma, Genesect. And there's also other types of evidence, but that's what I have here. And then, um... We have the one on Kabutops becoming Scyther over the millions of years that it's had to evolve. Now this one is a kind of a stretch since Kabutops is a crustacean and Scyther is a um is an insect. But then again, there are species changes when it comes to natural evolution, like the dinosaurs being reptile reptiles but they're mo like the t-rex was a reptile and now it's a bird it's called the chicken i mean it can change species type it's actually pretty pretty cool to think about it and things like that P pretty weird and all but still um nev natural evolution and s 
be because of nature evolution happens because of the habitats that they that the uh, certain creature inhabits it naturally evolves to best survive in that habitat like um vulpix becoming a ice type in the alola region that's a form of natural evolution real world evolution pokemon quote unquote evolution when your Pokemon starts evolving and you choose not to press the B, that's more like metamorphosis, but a sped up version, less than it is actual evolution. But traits are passed down when it comes to natural evolution that are best for survival in their specific habitat. You gotta think, and this happens, this has happened in the world, real world. Millions of years ago, where there used to be beaches, now there's land, grass, things like that instead, you know? That's why you, 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 you people find um, uh, T-Rex skulls in the desert, you know? Like, how did this get here? T-Rexes don't live in deserts, obviously. But still, I mean, things change because of... The way the world is, the um, plate shifts of the world, you gotta think. The Pokemon world is pretty much based off of our world, so it's very similar how the plates will shift and things will change. But, um, maybe Kabutops was in a time, um, went from an area of beaches and started moving more and more inland and had to adapt to more grassy areas, more green areas. So obviously there's the color change, and maybe had to, obviously the bleed hands were kept, just changed a little bit um, for hunting. I mean, that's actually one of the best features of both Scyther and Kabutops when it comes to when you think natural ways of surviving. Food, hunting, they're probably omnivores or carnivores. It is said in the Pokedex that Kabutops drains life from its victims that it catches. Scyther probably does something similar. I mean, who knows? It, I mean, I'm pretty sure. Can it learn each life? Probably could. But, um... Yeah, I mean, it would change its color palette and other things to more better fit in its environment and it's kind of the same with the um over here kabuto and wimpod you got to think some like it says that some wimpod started to move or wimpod some kabuto started to move inland and that's why they started evolving into kabuto Kabutops. Well, maybe some didn't move inland or didn't move into the same land. Maybe they moved inland to other areas or stayed out to sea for longer times. They would have changed differently than Kabuto would. Kabuto would best adapt to its environment, environment becoming a scyther as it moves more and more inland. But Wimpod, or uh, the Kabuto that didn't, you know, go inland with the rest, they would have to best adapt moving into other areas, like more tropical areas. Alola, where Wimpod come from. And then maybe they started to inhabit land or something like that. You don't know, but... It definitely is a possibility and something to think about. Plus, there are similar features here, like the hard shell and the fact that they're both crustaceans. But, I mean, it is something to think about. Some Kabuto move inland, and they become Kabutops, and eventually become Scyther. Some stay in the sea, they survive, and they adapt to survive there. As Wimpod, they move out to Alola for some reason. Maybe they followed food, something like that. Same thing with Kabut, with Kabutops. Maybe that's why it moved inland to follow food sources. That's why, I mean, so Wimpod 
would, you know, become this big guy, <laughs> this big guy, the, um, Galisopod, Galisopod, I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong, but would become him to best fit its environment. I just threw my pen, but I mean, uh, it, the evidence is there. The thought, pro the proof, thought pro process, everything is there to prove that yes, this can be a possibility. This could be a possibility. Kabutops, or Kabuto, some move inland, some say outland. The one that stays out in the ocean, um, go to other plate. They follow food sources or just naturally move like fish do out to other areas, and they start changing depending on those areas. The Kabutops, they start moving more and more inland to follow food sources, eventually over millions of years, become scyther just like the Kabuto that stayed out in the ocean, over millions of years become Wimpod. And scyther and Wimpod are now scyther, like, scyther and Wimpod are, er, scyther and Galisopod are the natural ancestors, most recent ancestors in the Pokemon universe of Kabutops and Kabuto. You never know, but you, but look at this. When you, here's another thing to consider. Humans have a huge effect on Pokemon. I mean, look at this. Kab you gotta look at Kabutops here, becoming um, Genesect. They, because of humans, an ancient Pokemon has been brought back and changed to be up there as strong as, you know, competitors when it comes to strength with creators of the Pokemon universe now. It went from just a normal hunter of the ocean, and because of human influence, can match those of creators of Pokemon, the Pokemon universe, and things like that, you know? A strong enough Genesect could probably knock out a Palkia. I mean, you gotta think about it. And then, with Scyther, the only way to get Scizor is trade with a metal coat, something humans do. Excuse me, oh my gosh. But, um, Scyther would have stayed uh, a pretty strong insect for the area it lived in. Probably, like, in most areas you can catch Scyther. It's there with Pinsir, so they would probably be rivals. But then you bring in human influence, and now you have Scizor. Something that could easily crush Pinsir, you know? And then you have Mega Scizor, which obviously can't sustain that form for a very long time. Like, Goku can't sustain Super Saiyan 3 for over two minutes. But, um, I mean, it's just humans, the hu human influence on the, in the Pokemon universe have taken these more weaker Pokemon and made them incredibly stronger. But then you look at Galissapod, there has not been much, there probably hasn't been much human influence done to it other than having to adopt to an area that humans constantly move in and out of, Alola. It, but like, not many changes are made besides influential changes when it comes to humans moving in and out of areas. When it comes to animals, they're not, they're not really adapting to hunt down humans. They're more changing, as in mind ways, to be like, okay, I want to say here, 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 and that gets passed down. You know how humans evolved your mental way. Anyways, what I'm saying is, the humans have a hu had a huge effect on Kabuto itself, making its Kabutops' like Kabutops and its modern form and its created modern form way stronger it shouldn't have been, it shouldn't even have a created modern form that there's only one of it 
That's not natural, but we did it. Human, not we. Humans in the Pokemon universe did it. We probably will be able to do that in the future, though. But, um, and now, but there's still the fact that natural evolution can be, at, can be almost as strong as what we can do. Look at Galissapod. It could probably tank a Scizor. You know? It could probably go head-to-head -head with Mega Scizor when it comes to an act, like, when you think actual attributes of the creature and how it evolved and not, oh, look at its stats, you know? Actual real attributes when it comes to an actual battle. This dude has thick, thick shell armor, gigantic claws. I mean, he could probably go head-to-head -head with Mega Scizor in an actual real battle, like a Pokémon tournament style, real life style, squirrel versus bird. <laughs> I don't know why I looked out my window and expected to see a squirrel fighting a bird. One time I did, though. It was weird. But anyways, I mean, you know? Anyways, um, yeah. Basic recap. Kabuto, some moved to land, became Kabutop, some stayed in ocean, became Wimpod. The ones that moved to land moved more inland and became Scyther. And then, um, in modern times, people brought back, um, Team Plasma brought back Kabutops and changed it to make Genesect. And then, um, was able to make Scyther stronger with, um, evolute, with trade evolute, with, an tra with a trade evolution and a mega evolution. But I mean... You never know. This might not be true. This might be true. I mean, um, go ahead. I mean, if you want more evidence for this or something like that, I definitely suggest checking out. Um, I'm pretty sure. Shoot, I can't remember. I saw a video talking about possible evolutions of, of um, like, how... Kabutops could have been related to Scyther. I saw another one how um, Kabutops could be related to Genesect, and it pretty much was the inspiration. Those were the inspirations why I'm making this video, but I can't remember what they were. But I just like, and I know there's probably even more evidence to prove more things, like, say, Kabutops and Pinsir. That's actually really big of a stretch. But I mean, the, the brown and claws moved to the head for some reason that could have happened it couldn't have happened anyways this video was a video anyways hope you all enjoyed the video like comment share subscribe sorry if i'm talking weird and repeating things first off i'm always like that i'm trying to work on it and second off is probably because it's like 7.22 at night. Uh, I'm not ready to make a video. I wasn't ready. I decided to anyways. But, yeah, I mean... And also, snowing. I might be... If school's out tomorrow, I'll make a video. I will. I promise. There will be a double upload if school is out. That's right. A double upload, everybody. Let's get scarce up in here. Anyways, if... Hope you all enjoyed. Comment, like, share, and subscribe. And.